Hello, everybody. <laughs> Let's start over. <laughs> it's so crazy right now. Yeah, I'm gonna look ahead. Day before. I'm not second guess any of this. Oh my god. Oh my god, I did it again. Okay, I'm gonna look at you. You just like look at me. Hello everybody, I'm Scott and this dancing fool over here, this is Andrew. Other introductions, uh, the bikes. <laughs> Are you done? <laughs> that was pretty smooth. Andrew's going to be riding his uh, Husqvarna 501, nicely modified. What's its name? Sweet P. Sweet P. And I'm going to be riding Scrappy. This is a 2020 790. As you can see, both the bikes are a little modified. And we're going to do the Arizona BDR. Okay, here's the plan. There's the BDR on the big Garmin, and then we've got Gaia down here. It's nice having the two different devices, one zoomed in, one not so much. And then we go, right? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, let's go. Well, we're starting the ride off with some nice scenery. It's cool here right now. Yesterday was very warm. I'm quite thankful for the overcast conditions. We've got a big day ahead of us. We hope to uh, not just do section one, but sections one and two. We'll be doing all the hard options wherever they're presented. Um, I think it's called Pioneer Pass. It might be closed. We hope it's not, because that sounds spicy. We like it spicy. All right, oh, look at this. Got to behave ourselves in here. We're in civilization. just inside Arizona with Mexico to the south of us right on the border and uh, this road is quite reduced speed at 15 miles an hour we've been forewarned to watch out for border patrol so we're just taking our time get through this initial section and then we're gonna be able to open her up a little bit incredible view here looking out over Mexico it's amazing. We're in Rocovado National Park, I believe it's called. And we got about 14 miles of what they're claiming to be rough road, but this is pretty sweet as far as I'm concerned. So these are monitoring stations, to my understanding. And uh, we're dealing with all kinds of infrared and whatnot, making sure the people aren't coming across the border when they're not supposed to be stay on this side of that tower. Well, we just wrapped a pretty long section of farmland, beautiful rolling hills, and averaging about 100 kilometers an hour. Uh, not great for filming, but uh, it was fun to cover some ground fast like that, that's for sure. Now we're getting into some tighter stuff. Uh, there is more traffic, so we're just Dropping her back a little, you can't see far out. Big rolling ranch land here. Pretty amazing. Huge mountains off in the distance. The views here have been spectacular so far today. We also just saw a Border Patrol truck. That was a Ford Raptor, all done up. That guy gets excited every morning when he goes to work. Maybe today, it'll be a high-speed chase. <laughs> Rolling ranch land. This is just spectacular here. Mountains in the background. Everything's still a little crispy from winter, but pretty soon it'll be all greened up for about a day. <laughs> so if you're gonna come and tackle BDRs, I can tell you already there's two things you need. Number one, you gotta find your own Scotty Chisholm. I found mine, he's right there. Good to have a partner in crime got the same interest and the second thing you need is a bomber shop and we have that as well riders edge suspension in Vernon those guys take great care of us help us get ready for these trips wherever we're
we're going. Help me build this bike, which I love. This Husky 501 has been just a riot since day one. And uh, yeah, once you've got a good buddy to ride with and a good shot back in you, you're good to go. with this luggage on the back in those sandy sections. It's helping keep that front tire a little light. It's quite nice. Yeah, that was a, some of that bike. Sounds so good. Some old washes, a little bit of rock, a little bit of sand, nice little mix. Getting pretty close to the end of stage one. I'm gonna have some lunch, fill up the ponies, and do stage two this afternoon. Good stuff. Uh huh. Loose. Very nice. Ride that pony. tail bag somehow came undone and it is now wrapped around my sprocket with my jacket torn out of it good hmm all right well he'll see me soon I'm not there that is and we'll get to work seeing what I can do to fix this problem hey you made a big mess thanks Scotty look at this that was my favorite orange jacket. <laughs> it can be again with some needle and thread. Whole lot of needle and thread. Okay, let's go. Minus one tail bag. Oh well, just like Giant Loop says, I'm gonna go light, <laughs> go fast, and go far. That's the plan. That's fun. Very nice. Indeed. A little rock, a little rock band. Meow, meow, meow. Yeah. So that is a wrap on stage one of the Arizona BDR, folks. We are now in Benson. I'm gonna grab some fuel and some food, and we're gonna get back at it. Catch you after lunch, guys and girls. Okay, stage two, here we go, Benson to Globe. Let's get at it. Well, all right, after 40K on the pavement, we are back on the dirt. Let's go see what we can find. Check it out. Look at this thing, it's massive. Wow. Gave me a little rundown on the Sawara cacti seeing here. And apparently, if you have one of these guys in your property, you're not allowed to dig them up or move them without a permit. And if you do get a permit, when you move it, you gotta make sure that you transplant it facing the same direction as it was when you uprooted it. Otherwise, it's gonna die. A little bit of local knowledge for you, I suppose. So, while stage two definitely is not a technical section, it sure is beautiful. There are incredible views all the way along, and when you don't have to have laser focus all the time, it's kind of nice to pull your head up and 
take a peek. It is spectacular. Look at it. Well, this is more fun than big old logging road or resource road. But a quad trail ish. They said. <laughs> Indeed. Oh yeah. I'm trying to get the camera going. Just about crashed. Rocks into a bit of sand. A little flowy double track. Not too shabby. Nice way to end the day. Even on the blacktop, it's stunning down here, guys. Look at this. Incredible. About 40 miles out of globe. And we're gonna just stick our nose into Pioneer Pass. That's been marked as closed, but it was done so in December, so maybe we can ride it. We'll see. Things are just starting to get a little bit interesting. I've dumbed my bike down by putting it into off-road throttle, which makes it very docile. I'm a little bit tired. We've ridden a long ways today, and this will probably be the hardest part of the trip. So, I'm gonna try and play it smart. Recently had food and some water. As prepared as I could be. for us to two up here not too dodgy earlier today i had some unexpected lane changes in the real chunky stuff so we had to space out a bit more yeah baby yeah, it'd be interesting to hear from you guys in the comments what bike suits your flavor style interest all that more between the two of our bikes so once again andrew has a husky 501 s being street legal run some stuff to it very very reliable you can travel the world with that bike and it can be fixed just about anywhere that's a big plus you can also go down trails where you don't know what's going to happen <laughs> because you can turn it around it probably weighs like half of this bike or is uh is your style more like the 790 here 790 a bigger bike more of a handful <laughs> but it does haul load better and better on the street and it makes everything a little bit tougher which is honestly that's part of the appeal andrew and i also have beta cross trainer 300s which are arguably some of the best bikes for going into real snarby stuff especially for moderately skilled riders like us and we're riding them less and less because to push those bikes and us on them we have to go into some pretty hairy stuff where it feels like we could really get hurt and yeah you could get hurt out here on these bikes but we've got big grins and we're not i don't know we're just not pushing the limits as much so yeah what do you like best what's your dream bike Andrew's already told you he's getting an 890. It might even be back in the shop at home. Wait for him to return. He is pumped. Hopefully these don't turn into the real ugly square Arizona flip you over rocks. I'm gonna get my eyes up a little bit more. Look ahead. Focus on picking my path. This is what they call an expert only section. I don't know if that particular thing was, but this segment. So we can expect some spicy bits where you're really gonna have to pay attention. Make sure your mojo's in check. Get a little 
little glance up ahead here. Looks fine. Piece of cake, come on. Maybe that bulldozer was up here to fix this and reopen it. Maybe it's all fine now. Do I hear Andrew? Yep. We're all good. here. Not too scary. I don't see stinky. Oh, there he is. Okay, gal. Chill. <laughs> ah. <laughs> so far, so good. That was awesome. <laughs> so, this was all washed out, and we were told it was closed, and I'm guessing this is the reason. Pretty punched right now, but we're hopeful. We're seeing tracks. That's a good sign. Yeah, there was a wicked amount of rain and water that came down through this. Gulch. The sun is setting on day one. What a great day it was. Two stages of the Arizona BDR almost under our belts. We think we've just wrapped up the really bad section of Pioneer Pass. And if you're on a big fat bike, like a 1200, you may not want to go in there. Really loose sand, and it could be quite a handful for you. Part of the reason I said it was closed. Yeah. No pinch flats. Out of the desert over there into the forest right here. Pretty cool. These guys got a little scorched too. There was quite a fire that ripped through this whole place. But it was pretty fast moving, I would say. These guys. Looks like they might be okay. Those guys, not so much. <laughs> Beautiful little campsites, but I think this whole park is probably still closed because of this kind of stuff. This place just got trashed. Water is an aggressive beast when she wants to be. So that, folks, is a wrap on day one of the Arizona BDR. We've got stage one and two behind us. We're just rolling down off of Pioneer Pass into a town called Globe, where we're gonna spend the night. And then tomorrow, back at it. Uh-oh, what's this all about? Gates, maybe. <laughs> Yes. Yep. Well, there's a closer for you. <laughs> like the gate was closed. All right. That's all she wrote, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. That's a wrap.